Hi, my name is Gaylene. Thanks for tuning in to Travel Time. This week on Travel Time, we're going to be talking about corporate travel. And with me today is my guest, Russell Vogt. Hi, Russ. Hi, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming in to be on the show. For those that don't know Russ, Russ works for Snappies, and he travels a lot. Um, Russ is a Platinum Elite member with Northwest Airlines, so just having that status with them alone um, shows how much that you're in the air with them. So with, with the hassles of traveling today, it seems like people are worried about the baggage and seat assignments, all that. What are some of your thoughts as far as um, air travel these days? Actually, air travel the last few weeks has been pretty good. Okay. They haven't any problems. Uh, even got my luggage most of the time. <laughs> It's been pretty good. I'd say that uh, Northwest has done a wonderful job for us here in the last few weeks. Okay. I don't know what it's going to be like when they switch to Delta, but right well, now it's great, I think. Right. And the merger hasn't been approved yet. We'll no. find that out in November, but that could have some effect on you. And with rest of status with North, Northwest, one nice thing is you do have the opportunity to be upgraded to first class. Yes. Yeah. And that's just about all the time for me. Yes. So right now. Yeah. I get upgraded just about every week. Okay. Now, um, check-in baggage. I know for first-class passengers, you're still allowed two free check-in bags, possibly three, I believe. Um, and coach travelers, they're allowed anywhere from one to two pieces of luggage, so that's something we recommend our clients to check online. Um, and whenever you travel, you also rent to cars? Yes. We, we go through Hertz, and uh, Galen also does that for mm -hmm. us, books their cars for us, which is great. Uh, it saves us all the bother when we get there to get a car. Yeah. So. Especially, of course, I'm a five-star gold member of Hertz also, so yeah. I mean, I get there, the car's waiting for me. Just jump in the car and go. Yeah, because, so you don't even have to go up to the ticket mm -hmm. counter with Hertz, nope. correct? Nope, they, when we get to Atlanta, there's a, they have their, their shuttles there, Hertz does, and you walk up there, and they'll ask you your name, you tell them your name, and they look in there, yep, you're on the board, so you get there, and you look for your name on the board, it tells you where your car is at, and, okay. it, and you go get it, and you're gone. Okay. Yeah. Now, are you able to pick out any car you want, oh, no. or do they have one selected no, already? No, they select a car for you. They do, yeah. okay. And then yeah. when you return the car, all the paperwork is already processed? Paperwork they... is all done, you okay. just get a slip in your credit card, and you're good to go. And off to go, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Um, and another place that you and your wife traveled to last winter was Cabo San Lucas. Yes. So that did. was a vacation yes. for you, a well-deserved. Yep, never been there. Well, I've been to Mexico, but never f for pleasure. Okay, so, sure. For work. Yeah. So this was, it was fun, except I wasn't feeling good at the time. Yeah. Us, but. Okay. And then you also went down to the Virgin Islands as yes. well. Yes, yes. And we're also going to go back again. Are you going back this coming yes, winter? Yes, we are. Okay. What are some of the things that you liked about the Virgin Islands? Virgin Islands is a very, very pretty place to go. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as swimming for kids or grown-ups or whatever, it's, it's wonderful. It really mm -hmm. is. Yeah. And, uh, uh, it's a lot of people there, of course, but sure. it's a small island. But right. It is still very nice. And so that's why we're going to go back. We enjoyed it a lot. Okay. Yeah. Now, is it true that the food in St. Thomas is expensive or not? Yeah, not? It's pretty much expensive, no matter what where you go as you're on vacation. Sure. You know, so yeah. it doesn't make much difference. Yeah, it was kind of expensive, but no more than Mexico was. Yeah, no more no. than Cabo, because no, Cabo can be no. very expensive it's very as well. Expensive, yeah. yeah. What are some do you have any um, a favorite between the Virgin Islands and Cabo? Is there one thing that stands out in your mind? Well, the yeah, the, the the beautiful water in the Virgin Islands. Mm -hmm. I mean it's always calm there compared to Cabo St. Lucas. Sure. It's, it's rough water there, you know, you yeah. couldn't swim much, but over yeah. there in the Virgin Islands, you can always go swimming. Okay. So All that's right. the difference. That, and that's why my wife wants to go back to Virgin Islands. So okay. That's where we're going to go. So. And you're going to go back this coming winter? Yeah, in, uh, I believe, March. Okay. Are you going with friends again this yes. year? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we invite you guys to stop in here and see us at Travel Travel. We Russ, we appreciate your business, you and Snappies, and I know you're, you We appreciate a lot. your help yeah. very much. Well, we like to take care of you guys. Um, that's one nice thing about working with them is they call us, we know exactly what they want, what they need, and we try to take care of them while they make their life on the road a little bit easier. Yeah, we can always call you even when we're on the road to find out things, and it helps a lot. Like yeah. They, All right. Well, does. again, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great week.